Hi and welcome back to our building a website from start to finish series. Um, we've been working on the CSS here and we have already cut up our some of our images as well and placed them in. Um, we've just worked on our navigation. Let's go ahead and start start messing with some of these buckets here. And what we do need to do is we need to come up with the actual size of these so we can start setting them next to each other here. Let's go back to Photoshop and let's find our bucket. And I do apologize, we, we really should have named these. Um, luckily I grabbed the right one. Um, and select all. And let's come over here to our info palette. And we, we have 240 width. Let's come to Dreamweaver here. Let's find our bucket rules. And the width of the div is going to be 240. There we go. We'll mess with the height in a minute. But what we need to do, um, let's take a look at our source code here. Since I took a break from these these videos, I'm going to have to kind of take a peek here and figure out where we need to go. So we have a wrap for the buckets, and that's a start. Now there's a couple ways we could address this. Um, the easiest way to do this would be to make a table and just have uh, three cells or columns. Um, and you can get away with that. Um, it's not the most popular way to do it, but it is the easier way to do it. But we're not going to do easy this time. What I'm going to show you is how to actually make four columns here with divs using floating. So what we actually need to do is we're going to make a wrap around these first two buckets. And to save time, let's just go ahead and copy this div starting tag here, and we'll call this um, wrap bucket enter, and come down to the end of our bucket two here, and let's go ahead and copy this div, this closing div here, so we can close our wrap. Copy and paste, and we'll say end wrap bucket in there one and let's go ahead and tab this out so we can get a better view of what we're doing all right and this will make sense here soon on why we did it let's go back to our CSS and we're gonna go ahead and make a new rule for our, our uh, wrap Don't forget your period here. Um, make our curly brackets. And one thing to note, what we did here, we need to look at the spacing between here. And I'm pretty sure this side here, if we zoom in, is roughly half of the distance between the two divs in our, um, or between the two buckets in our uh, template. But um, so we're going to run with that for the moment. So and adjust it if we have any errors. So we know that the bucket is 240. So we're going to make our wrap double that. So it's going to be 480. Let's go ahead and copy this line here and drag it down, and we'll change this to 480. And what we do need to do is come back to our source code, and we actually need to give these buckets an actual class. And we'll call this bucket L. Or left. And bucket right. Save this. And come back over to our CSS, and let's make a class for these buckets. Let's go ahead and copy this here. Paste it twice. Let's call this one left, and this one right, and we're going to go ahead and do a float, right, and float, left. And before I click over here on the preview to see what we've done, what we did was we've made a wrap that's going to contain those first two buckets and it's going to force them to sit side by side 
but but only within the confines of or confines of that uh, that wrap itself. So it can't be any wider than 480. So they they should set right next together. So let's click over here, and sure enough, there you go. Um, we have a little issues here, but we'll we'll be taking care of that. All right. Now what we need to do is come back to our source code, and we're going to make another wrap. And this time we're going to wrap the last two buckets. So I'm just going to copy this opening tab for the bucket enter one, and paste it here after bucket three, and call this two. And we'll go ahead and copy this ending tag here, and drag and come down here and paste it after the bucket four. And we'll go ahead and name this bucket enter two, and we'll go ahead and highlight this and tab it out. And actually, now that I think of it, let's let's go ahead and change this to bucket enter left, and this one to bucket enter right, just to keep the same format. And you can maybe start guessing what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and give this one the bucket left class, and give this one the bucket right. We're gonna save this and flip over to CSS. And let's make sure we change this here to the left. And let's go ahead and copy this and paste it. And we'll call this bucket enter right. And let's go ahead and give this a float property here of left. And this one right. So now they sit next to each other. Now, the reason we have this spacing here um, has something to do with the uh, overall wrap that we made. So we may have some a uh, little bit of spacing we need to add to these, but we'll keep it here for now. All right, and if you've been following this whole series, uh, you're going to recognize this document. Um, and I just want a really quick run over what we did in case it's not very clear, because it's really easy to just take what I've done and run with it and not really be totally okay with uh, um, or being comfortable with what we just did and being able to to do it on your own so let's just talk about this really quick um, I'm going to go ahead and make a new document here and just show you the concept so what we did was we have our bucket here and what we did was we we floated the second one to the right of it but if we would have done that without putting a wrap around it, it would have pushed it all the way probably out to the far right here, to the edge of our outer um, overall wrap. Um, and that's not what we want because we want them all sitting next to each other. So what we did was we created another wrap that, conf that sticks these together here and keeps them where they are. And then what we did... Um, Although this is not the order in which we did it, because we already had the buckets made. But uh, let's just assume we didn't. We created another wrap, and we floated it to the right of this wrap, so it will sit next to this. And then what we did was we pretty much made a clone of these two left and rights, and placed them within this div, so they sit next to each other. So this these two or this div is floating to the right of the first div this div is float or this div is floating to the right of this div but then this wrap here div is floating to the right of this wrap so hopefully that makes a little more sense as to what we've done and there's another way we could have done this and I'll run through this really quick and what we could have done is made a wrap here around these first two like we did. We could have floated this here to the right and essentially just given it the same class as this one and it would sit next to this wrap here and then make another wrap around this one and then float this div here to the right of this second wrap and then the overall bucket wrap we had here, which that wasn't the name of it, but the, the wrap that went around all the buckets would contain this last one and keep it uh, keep
keep it where we wanted. But uh, I thought this was probably a little more confusing to describe. And depending on what you're doing, this could work better. But for now, we're just going to stick with this one. It should work out. So hopefully that helps a little bit. So let's go ahead and let's do some math really quick. I know that's probably the last thing you want to do as a web designer is math or an artist in general, but we're going to. Um, so we have our divs and they're 240 a piece. So let's do 240 times 4, which is 960. And what did we make our overall div? Our overall wrap was 987. So we've got 960, let's remember that. 987 minus 960 equals 27 divided by 3 is 9. And the reason I did this is that that'll give us an idea of what kind of spacing we need to do between these in order to accomplish fitting them in correctly. So let's go ahead and work on that here really quick before this video is over. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a margin on the bucket right. And it's going to be 0 pixels, 0 pixels, 0 pixels and 9 pixels. Now what that's going to do though is kind of screw up our wrap. So we need to compensate by adding 9 pixels to our wrap. And there, now we have a spacing of 9 pixels here. So let's add another 9 pixels to our inner right wrap. And by default it's going to give the correct space, but and because we've added the uh, the margin to this bucket right, and we've pretty much cloned the uh, classes here, it automatically gave us the right space. So now they're spaced correctly. And uh, we may need to adjust this when we actually put our images in here, but for now we're starting to look pretty good here.